What's up? What's up, everyone? Everyone spam the likes. Spam those likes, guys. Thanks for being here, Derek. Bronco, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> thanks for joining everybody thanks for being here um everyone please spam the likes uh share the live with a couple of friends please say hello to youtube everyone that subscribed to my my youtube if you want to watch the full live stream just click on the youtube button in my bio As soon as we get to 3,000 likes, guys, I'll take the first guest. Let's get to 3,000 likes and I'll take the first guest here. Thank you all for joining. Everyone, please share the live with a couple of friends. Just share the live with a couple of friends, guys. You want to do some more Bible quizzes? We'll do a Bible quiz. We can do um, a Bible quiz stream after this. After this stream, we'll do one. I'm gonna be live on here for a couple of hours, and then we'll do a, a Bible quiz stream. Thank you, T7. Thank you. Thanks for the shares, Tammy. Thank you for being here. Did you guys enjoy last night's live? That shit was hilarious. Thank you, comrade, for the shares. Thank you so much, comrade. Thank you for all the shares. Thank you. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Keep spamming those likes. Hey, Alyssa. Thank you for being here, Alyssa. Yeah, I did see uh, Theistic Essentialist uh, inter a Christian Interrogation Room. Yeah. His is, his is like, uh, his is only for Christians. And um, he, only, he only lets people play that know what 2 Timothy 3.16 is. But, but my version of it is anyone can play. Atheists, Christians, anyone. Anyone that thinks they can, that they know the Bible. And you don't have to know what 2 Timothy 3.16 is or nothing like that. What's up, Deviant? All right, guys, we got a guest request, but let's get to 3,000 likes really quick, guys. Let's get to 3,000 likes, and I'll take the guest here. We're almost there. Almost there. There it is. All right. Let's take the guest here. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Um, so I re I'm reading the prompt, and it says, why does God allow this? Correct. Right. Um, I feel like uh, I really feel like everything is orchestrated, and, w and whether we realize it or not, um, we live in a we live in a universe where both has to has to exist, good and evil. Um, we live in a in a place where everything is dual, a dual nature. You know, just like you have uh, uh, night, you have to have day. So same thing when it comes to making good choices and bad choices and that's a, that's a part of creation so that's just a part of creation and we have to understand that um when people make these type of choices it's uh that they're the opposite of everything ha has to have its opposite 
and you choose you choose to, you to be which side you want to be on and that goes on a mental level too because just like you can um look at that and see see the stuff in the news and tune in to a lot of negative things you, on the other end of that you can tune into a lot of positive positive at the same time where you have people that will actually rescue people from those type of situations where you have what you uh what we call so-called heroes and of that nature and that's why there there's i believe there's actually more good people than there are bad to be honest with you and i feel i really believe that it's just what, what, what you choose to uh focus on okay so why doesn't god stop these priests from touching these kids well um because like i said it's it's their choice it's their choice to do whatever they're doing and but right, at but, the same but, time but i under, not, understand they're making the choice i understand they're making the choice but why doesn't god stop them because like i said again god there's a lot of things that god don't just directly intervene and do you know it, I, a lot I of know, things are done i know that but why you said why why doesn't I, god stop them because it's the physical reality this is because it has to be an opposite if god intervened every time somebody did something bad then it wouldn't be an opposite so god allows them to touch kids in order to keep balance well i'm not saying that but it could be anything it could be somebody doing any kind of evil i'm not just talking about specifically that that just goes with it is that what you're saying is that you're saying the reason god doesn't stop these kids from being touched by priests is in order to keep balance in the universe well, not <laughs> you're focusing on just one thing. I'm talking about just evil in general, not well, sir, general. Sir, this is the topic of the discussion. This, this, this is the topic of the discussion. Why does God allow this? And you're saying God doesn't stop it in order to, to in order to what keep balance? Is that I'm asking you? Is that what you're? Is that what you're saying? In order for God to keep balance in the universe? Um, hello, you there? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Like I said, again, um, it'd be different. It, 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 that question would be more valid if, if God would be intervening all the time where you see God just step in and stop something. But that doesn't happen. When have you seen God stop anything? Really? Yeah, it's yeah, that God's kind of useless, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it's because we don't understand that the, the the best way I can put it is this: the paint the painter is not a is not a part of the painting. So, we, so, so these we, religions oh, we just, teach God's mysterious. It's all God works in mysterious ways. Is we we can't well, question not, God. Well, 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 I, well. My perception of God is is not from a biblical perspective. I feel like a lot of it has to do with uh, beings. You know, like is like your God all powerful? God is all powerful, but at the same time, so, so God if your God is, is all powerful, then He could stop these priests if He wanted to. Well, well, you gotta, well, you gotta understand. God is, God is um, omnipotent, and like I said, God is not a part of the painting. The painter is not a part of the painting. If that makes sense. So God created everyone. He created these priests, knowing what they would do, right? And He created the kids, knowing that the kids, what would happen to the kids. And he set it right. all into motion. It's all this big giant painting, so it's all God's well, fault. Well, it's God's. If, if well, God is the painter, and the painting well, encompass and, and the painting encompasses these kids being touched, and God is the painter, then God, it's all part of God's plan. It's God's fault. Yeah, it, it, exactly. It is God's fault. Yeah, it is. I mean, ultimately, why God do you created, worship a God? Evil wouldn't exist. Uh, uh, evil wouldn't. It's exist God's fault without... that these kids are being touched, and that's a God you worship. Well, what I'm saying is that. Uh, God created both. He created good and evil. So, yeah. God that means, is that, that, means that your God is not all loving. No, God is not all loving. Who said God is all loving? Yeah, so why do you worship such a horrible being? Uh, Why Why do I worship? That's you. <laughs> this is what you got to understand, that a lot of what goes on is really based on us. This based love, on the choices that we God? make. God gave us the ability to make our own choices. Do you so love when we God? make bad choices, huh? Do you love God? Do I love God? Love, love is an love is an action. Love is an uh, an emotion. And to say I love God, S I sir, love myself. Love, yes. Do you love God? Yes. Yes. Why do you love a God that is powerless to stop what little little kids from being touched? And in fact, he it's his fault. 
You said it's his fault. It's God's fault that these kids are being touched. And that's a God that you well, love. Well, well, you know what? You know what? I, I love God for I love God for all the kids that are not touched. How about that? Because there's a lot of kids that don't get touched because of God. It's so God's how about, fault. How about those kids? It's God's fault that these kids are being touched, right? Yeah, and it's God's fault for, for the ones that are not. So why do you love so what that about, God? What about that? Why do you love a huh? God that why do you love a God that is to blame for kids being touched? You love you I'm love your fault. you you love because your P three D O God? You love your P three D O God? Because because those those people will be punished for what they've done. But, but that's why right. God's but God it's, it's part called, of God's it's called, plan. It's called karma. Have you ever heard of karma? Or you, it's or part you of what you sow. It's part of God's plan, sir. This is all they're just doing what God's plan is, right? They're just doing God's will. Well, well that, that's not what you understand. It's not people have their own will, bro. That's what, so I'm here's what you're to say. saying. Whoever's here's doing that saying. twisted mess, that's not that's not a part of God's will. You're saying you're saying it's God's fault. It's God's fault that these kids are being harmed, and that's a God well, that you well, love. What well, what I'm saying is you I love mean, your little really P3DO that's... God. You love your little P3DO God. But this is this is what I'm trying to say is this. But God is in control of everything. People have their own choices. Okay, that they make, okay, they make. okay. If God is in control, if God is in control of everything, then why doesn't He right. stop this? Then why does He not stop? He's in control. I, because good. How can how can good how can good exist if evil doesn't exist, sir? It, you it, said you said you God is both. in control. You said God is in control of everything. So if God right. is in control of everything, if God is in control of everything, why doesn't He control this? Why doesn't He stop it? He has stopped it with a lot of, no. lot of other kids. Oh, really? He stopped it? Yes. Horrifying yes. stories. Horse, horrifying stories span decades. Decades. Right. You telling me he stopped it? Yeah. Yeah, he stopped. There's a lot of kids that hasn't been that, that where right. God you're intervened. Just, just I've, being, I've heard this. It sounds like you're driving and you're just being disingenuous. You love your little P3DO God. He said God, he said it was God's fault. He said it's God's fault that these kids are being touched. And then he said that he stopped it. Two minutes ago, sir, two minutes ago, you said it's God's fault that this is happening to these kids. And then you're telling me that he stopped it, right? If he stopped it, then why, are all we why do we have all these stories that span decades? He said it was God's fault, and then he said he loved that God. You love your little P3DO God? Is, is you, you love that God? Uh, who, who do you worship? I don't worship anything. Oh, you don't. You're not. You're not a, a Satanist. No, Satan doesn't exist. What's oh the six 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 thing in your? That's just for jokes. What six 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 thing? On your bio. Oh, six dollars and sixty six cents. Yeah. Oh, that's just the uh, the amount that people usually cash at me because it's I don't know why it's funny. I guess, I guess they think it's funny. Oh, okay. Just wondering. No problem. All right. Is it? Uh, are you Christian or are you non-believer? Or... Oh no, I am. Yeah. You're a Christian or a non-believer? No, I'm not a Christian. I'm just a follower of Christ. I don't claim Christian. That's a that's what a Christian is, sir. <laughs> no, there's the the word Christian was never even in the Bible, so. Right, but you're a follower of Jesus Christ, right? Yeah, that's but what, that's what like, followers of Christ are. Followers of Christ are Christian. No, nah, Christians are people that meet in a building and claim they worship God and do things. All right, why doesn't why doesn't your little lovey dovey hippie Jesus man stop this from happening? Hey, there's free will. People are allowed to do whatever they want. So it's better for Jesus to allow them to do this than it is for Jesus to stop it? Well, would you rather be a robot? I just asked you a question. Is it better for Jesus to allow this to happen than it is for him to stop it? I guess so. He's the ultimate. He, he makes all the and, decisions. Oh, and Jesus is the lovey-dovey hippie man that allows kids to be touched, sir? Hey, if that's how you see it. That's, how, that's what you're telling me it is. That's how you're telling me it is. You're telling me that it's better for Jesus to allow these priests to fondle these kids than it is for Jesus to stop it. Well, however you want to take it, that's up to you. Is it better, sir? Is it better? Would it be wrong for Jesus to stop these guys? Oh, morally, no, uh huh? But I don't know. If it wouldn't I'm be not, wrong, on this level. if it wouldn't be wrong, then why are you saying that it's better for Jesus to allow it? 
Hey, I don't, I don't know what he's up to. I don't know what his. I don't, I don't think you know anything. Uh, let me top, ask. Let me ask you something. What do you know? Oh, I, I don't know. I just was yeah, asking. You don't, you don't know anything. You don't even know what you are. I, I, I I'm, I'm a follower of Christ, but I'm not a Christian. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. All right, so. Do you believe you have free will, yes or no? Um, yeah, but I don't think it comes from God. Okay, so who told you to pick up your drink and, and drink your uh, your juice right now? Yourself? My brain, yeah. So when, I, when these priests touch uh, babies, who makes them touch them? Um, well, God, right? Because God allowed it. No. So, so no? they have free will, just like you picked up that juice. Yeah, so, so so why can't God stop it? Why can't God stop it? Do you believe God can stop everything he uh, he wants to, yes or no? Yeah, he's all powerful, right? Do you want him to stop it? Yeah. So do you believe in Jesus being God? No. I don't think your God exists, sir. But if your God ex if if your God exists and he's all powerful, why doesn't he stop these kids from being touched by priests? That's his, like that, that, sometimes he does stop it. There's stories of miracles, of, and there's stories that it doesn't happen, so I don't know. It's up to God. But there is free will, and there's people that do it. They, you can't blame God for everybody's action. Wouldn't it be better for God to not allow the free will choice to touch kids? So you morally know it's wrong, right? Can you stop asking a question with I, a question? Can you stop answering questions with a question, you know please? You morally wrong, right? What? Do I know it's morally wrong? Yes, it's morally wrong, yeah. God thinks it's wrong too, so why do these men do it? If God thinks it's wrong, why don't he stop it? He gives free will. So, like, God, so God thinks it's better to allow them the choice to do it? Again, at the end of the day, you got to blame your own self. You're, because, you're saying, you're saying it's that God believes that it's better for them to have the choice to do it than it is for him to stop it. You're saying it's better for God to allow it than it is for God to save these kids. No. God, again, That's what you're saying. I'm saying everyone has free will. Yes, sir. I know you believe you have free will from God, but what I'm saying is, couldn't God have given these people free will but not allow them to touch kids? That, then you're making your own God up. No, I don't believe yeah. in God. But that's what you want. You want a God that stops everything. No, sir. I want you to question your own beliefs. I want you to think critically. Why do you worship a God that's all-powerful, but is, is powerless to stop little kids from being harmed in churches? Because that would take free will away from the situation. Okay, so you're saying it's better that they have the choice to choose to molest kids than it is for them to not have the choice. No, it's better because it shows you that humans are evil people who need a God to save them. Is, is free will a gift from God? It's free will gift, yeah. He gave it to Adam. So, so them having them having the choice to choose to touch kids is a gift. No, the gift is to choose to do good, not to do bad. But they rather choose bad because they. But they have. But but free will encompasses doing good and bad, and you said that was a gift. It was a gift because it showed. Yeah, so so these people, these priests, having the choice to touch kids in church is a gift from God. The gift to decide do good but they rather do bad which shows you that they're evil right that they need jesus would because it be wrong would it be wrong for god to stop them no so then why doesn't he stop them again because he has to show you that you're not a robot because if you was to put a robot priest and what's so like, wrong with living in a universe where kids don't get harmed we live in a, a fallen universe that shows you that men are evil and wicked that they have their own desires to eat cookies. Pasties. This wouldn't happen. Th Hold none up. of this would happen if God didn't give them free will. So yeah. God's it's God's fault. Yeah. People have feet fetishes. They they like touching children. They love eating gluttony. They love getting more food in their system because of their own choice, their own desires. But God gave you free will to either pick up the bag of Doritos or put it down. He gave you free will to not touch the children or not. But you, in your own head, when you walk up to a little kid and you want to touch him, that shows you how disgusted and immoral you are, that you can't fight that. 
Yeah, well, yeah. well, the people that are doing that are only doing it because they have that freedom of choice from God given to them by God. So ultimately, it falls on God. God could have stopped it, but He doesn't. It falls on that man. No, it's God's fault. If God gives them, a, if God gives them the ability to choose to do something, and they choose it, then that's God's fault. God could stop it. Listen, let me show you something. Couldn't God stop it, sir? If God could stop it and He doesn't, I blame God. Yeah, but look, I decided to put this cup here, right? Sir, we can barely hear you. Oh, I decided to uh, tell, force me to move this cup. What? Tell me to move the cup. Go ahead. Move the cup up. No, I'm not listening to you. I'm not a robot. What, what is your point here? Now, this is the kid, right? So the priest says, I want to touch the kid. He does that on but his... I'm not all-powerful, though. He if I was all-powerful, if I was all-powerful, I would stop you from touching that kid. That we don't live in a we don't live in a, a world like that. The Bible says. I know that's yeah. the problem I have. That's the problem I have. Your God created a universe where he he chooses to not stop kids from getting touched. Again, he chooses to allow it. Put my hand. I want you to force my hand. Sir, I'm yeah. not all powerful. You can't, right? But an all powerful. Sir, God, an all powerful God could stop you if he wanted to. Of course, he could stop you. So then, why doesn't he? Because we have free will. No, because he's immoral, sir. Your God is immoral. Your God chooses to look the other way. Your Brother, God chooses to look the other way. We have free will. Now, God, when he sees me put my hand down, he says... How do you know, how do you, know you have free will from God? Tell me to touch the cup. I'll show you. How do, how do you know that God gave you free will? You in the gloves? I'll show you. Touch, tell no, me. No, prove to me. Prove to me that you have free will from God. All right, tell me to touch the cup. I'll show you. Sir... <laughs> What is me? What is me asking you to do something have to because do with proving? You say I don't have free will, but I'm going to show you. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. I didn't say you don't have free will. I'm asking you, how do you know you have it from God? How do I know I have it from God? How do you know that God gave you free will? Because I could decide to do good or evil. Yeah, but how do you know that comes from God? How do I know it comes from God? Because, uh. <laughs> You like you said, you know you and you you know down deep that touching children is immoral. How do you right? know that you have free will from God, sir? Because God is all good. How do you know you have free will from God? <laughs> what are you asking? That's a good question. I don't know faith. Let's hold take on, God hold out on. of it. You're, it sounds like you're hold driving. On, hold on. You can't be up here if you're driving. Sorry. Guys, please don't be driving. Hello? Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. So what's up? What do you want to know? How do I know free will is real? Well, that was something the last guest was talking about, but why does God allow this? That's the topic. Why does God allow this? Let me look at it. Horrifying students, second. You know, horrifying, uh, horrifying stories. Horrifying stories. Okay, I see it. I don't have my reading glasses right here, so it's really hard to see any content on there. Yeah, basically, I'm What's asking it? why. Do, I'm basically asking why does God allow children to be harmed in churches by pastors and priests? Um, I guess the last guy was kind of right because he gave us free will um, right on the fourth or fifth page of almost any Bible translation. It says, uh, you know, that he. He, he made Adam and he gave him the choice, you know, he made Eve, he gave them the choice of eating from the knowledge of the tree of good and evil. And so you're saying it's better to do that. You're saying it's better that God gives, allows them the choice to touch kids than it is for God to stop them. Um, no, I don't, I wouldn't say that. I mean, our, well, our then why doesn't God, why doesn't God stop them then? 
you know, it's not a, it's not God's responsibility because as he made us parents and he made us supervisors and protectors of children, we have to right. keep them close by at all but times. But if your God, if your God is all, if your God is all loving and all good and all powerful, an all powerful, all loving, all good God would and could stop kids from being touched in church. Then he would be taking free will of paper away from the people that are okay. touching them. Okay, so what you're saying is that it's better for God to allow them to touch kids than it is for God to stop them. Well, I think that since we're in a fallen world and that in the beginning we chose to eat from the tree and uh, so there is evil but the balance is if there wasn't bad and evil you wouldn't know what joy and good was there has okay. to be a contrast okay, so now, to everything so now you're saying that it's better for god to allow these kids to be touched because that way it keeps balance between good and evil Yeah, I guess so. I mean, just like he allows uh, people to get their heads cut off, uh, you know, in those countries that do that, or, uh, you know. So you're a, you're a Christian. It, it, ha it has to be there. Yeah, it has to be there. I don't, I don't condone or um, agree with anyone who's a pedophile, uh, I, you know, but I can't judge them in, at the same right because I'm you just as bad of a sinner. All sin is sin is a sin is a sin. My sin that, that is, is that is, black a, that is a that and is horrible a, uh, as your sin. That's a wild. That's a wild world, dude. You're saying that that's it's it's somebody illegal. who steals somebody who steals a paperclip is just as bad as someone who touches a child. Sin is a sin is a sin, sir. Sir, just are you bad. are you saying are you saying that the, the, a person that steals a paperclip is just as bad as somebody that touches a kid? human humanly speaking no but in god's eyes it's all sin so so god is going to so this all loving god this all good god is going to give the same punishment to somebody who steals a paperclip as he's going to give that that person the same punishment he would to somebody who touches a kid and that's a just god no that's not what i'm saying don't put words in my mouth but well, what I'm saying is, we, you're we will all stand. We will all stand in front of God on Judgment Day, and those who will be judged more harshly are the ones who do those things that are heinous crimes. And, Does God uh, have different levels of punishment? Please don't it? say. Please don't say touching children again. Uh, you know, just try something else. I mean, why does it? Well, that, I mean, that's the. That's why? The why what is your obsession, sir? That's the topic that. of the discussion. That's the the topic of the discussion is why does God allow these priests to touch children in church? Well, that's not on the on the the paper right there. That's your question, right? Why Sir, does God allow it says, that? It says horrifying stories of sexual abuse span decades. Right. Yeah, that happens. Uh, yeah, so why does your God allow it? Is, our God doesn't allow it. it he can puts your God people stop in it? place to protect those children. Can your God stop it if you wanted to? I don't know. I don't know that question. Is your God all powerful? That. Is your God all powerful? Yeah, he certainly is. Uh, okay, if your God is all powerful, is, if your God is all powerful, then he could stop it if he wanted to. Clearly, he doesn't stop it. So logically, that follows that he allows it because he gives them free will. So it's better for God to allow these children to be touched than it is for God to stop them. I think that it would be pointless to have a God if he just made us all robots and you know, puppets on a string and, and controlled our every movement. I, I choose free will because, you would know. You, let me ask you a question. Would you be uh, willing, would you be willing to give up your free will if it meant that this didn't happen to kids? I, I think because I'm compassionate and, and, and yeah, I think I, I might consider that but uh, that's not an option. You, you might know, that's not it? reality. Yeah, it could. I, mean, it could I think be I possible. would go for that. Yeah. Yeah. I so would your go God. For that. Yeah, your God could have created a universe where this didn't happen, right? 
but when he created us as humans he gave us the choice and oh, I we know. live in a fallen world so god this thinks isn't it's better. god god this thinks is, it's this better. is a god fallen thinks it's world better god thinks it's better that this but do you understand that this is a fallen world and that the lord of this world is satan so god why doesn't god just destroy satan he, he is going to <laughs> So in the meantime, so God's going to one day, God's going to get up off his ass and get around to destroying Satan. But in the meantime, all these kids got to be touched. Don't worry, kids. God's coming. God's going to come and destroy Satan one day. But in the meantime, you're going to have to get molested in church. What is it that you do personally to prevent this? Don't put don't put the responsibility on me, sir. I'm just here on Earth. Right. Don't. Your God is the all powerful. Well, your God I'm, is the all powerful. I'm, I'm, I'm the same. I'm just here imagine, on too. Imagine having, imagine having an all powerful God, right? Imagine having an all powerful, all loving God. And then when he realizes that his God is, is turning the other way and looking away from these kids being touched, he turns it on me. Well, what do you do? Well, what do you do to stop it? Sir, I'm not God. I'm not all powerful. <laughs> he, he, it all of a sudden clicked in his head that he realizes that his all-powerful God is letting Satan rule the earth, right? Your God could have destroyed Satan, and he tried to flip it on me and ask, well, what, I'm, what am I doing about it, right? It's not my responsibility. Your God is the one that created everybody. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Doing all right. Good. So... My only thing is, I was just sitting here watching it, and um, the thing is, you got a, you got a couple problems, a couple issues here. Yes, I do believe in God. Yes, I am a follower of God. Um, the thing, the only issue you, you're having right now is you keep contradicting yourself. Uh, for one, you say there's no God in your world, right? But right. then you can't say there's no God, but then ask why isn't God doing stopping this bad that's happening? No, no, I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking the believers. I'm asking like you, I'm asking you, yeah. why does your God allow this? So, okay, let me answer that for you then. The reason why it looks like he's, okay, it looks like in our world, he's allowing it to happen. But behind the scenes, we don't, the things that we can't really just see, they're not getting away with it. They think they're getting away with it and we think we're, they're getting away with it. But in reality, they're not getting away with it because so so it's justified it's justified for these kids to be touched because in the end god's going to punish them why couldn't god just stop it why couldn't god just stop it so here's the reason why so here's the reason why it's continuing just like god is allowing you to get online every other day and bash him he could why doesn't he stop you the same reason because he doesn't exist sir because he doesn't exist so see you can't use that if you're going to ask me why he doesn't okay if he doesn't exist then all of this doesn't matter you asked me you asked me why doesn't god stop you and i'm telling you because i don't believe in god there's no there's no god to stop me you're the one that believes in god you're the one that has a god and so i'm asking you why does your god allow little kids to be harmed in churches so this is the thing tell me why he doesn't stop it okay i'm gonna tell you why well here's the thing you don't know that he doesn't stop everyone he does stop it but on some cases he does not but the thing is it just why doesn't your god stop all children from being harmed he's, a, he's a, i'm trying to answer the question man the reason why is because he's allowing them to repent so the reason why he's doing that is because he's giving them all time to stop what they're doing now let me ask so, you this so god is allowing god allows children to be harmed in church uh in order because it gives the oh, the oh, priest a the chance question. to to no, repent yes absolutely that's okay so let me ask you a question so why doesn't god just so, stop no, no, them no, no, before no, 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 it even no, no, no. happens okay let me ask you this question to you let me let me if someone came up to you and asked you who is god what would you say if someone just Imagine. asked you who is i would god? say i would say imaginary imaginary right okay cool so the thing is because i've heard you on this live you said he, he if he's all powerful he's all powerful you said that right no so i and, asked i asked the guest if he thought god was all powerful okay so and he is but the thing is that's not great all that god great so if your god is all powerful why doesn't he stop these kids all kids if your god is all powerful why is it why doesn't he stop all kids from being harmed in church the, the, sa the same reason why he told everyone to love each other as their neighbor so the thing sir, is nobody wants to sir to i just god. asked you i just asked you I just asked you, why doesn't your God stop all kids from being harmed and hurt in church? And your response was, for the same reason he told us to love one another. Because, what? 
Because what the no, fuck? Not, what kind of answer was that? What no, kind of fucking not, nonsense not, answer was that? Not, the thing is, you're not listening. The that thing was is, absolute yap. If, the, the, no, you're not listening. That's the thing. <laughs> you keep cutting me off and just keep running off the little things. That Why I'm doesn't your all powerful, all good God let me stop? Finish all children for being harmed because in church. Because he gives everyone a chance, just like you. you I, know I know this. I know this. I'm asking you why. Like bashing him. I'm telling Sir. you why you keep cutting me off. You, you're not listening. The no, same, he, you keep, you're not answering the question. I'm Mike, answering the Mike, question. Mike, Mike, I asked you, why does God not stop all of these kids from being harmed? And so far, all you told me was because he wants to let me finish. You have not because let me he wants to give them free will. He wants to give. I know you believe you I have free say, will. See, I didn't even say that. That's the thing. I didn't even say that. You, that's what I'm saying. You're not letting me finish. You're putting words in my mouth and not let me finish. The okay, reason answer the why, question. Answer the question. I'm answering it if you can let me talk. The reason why he's not doing he's not stopping it is the same exact reason why he's not stopping you. It's because he's giving all of you. What guys is that reason? What is the reason? I'm, I'm trying to tell you the reason why is because he's giving you and those guys a chance to stop what you guys are doing. He's trying to make sure you guys. Why come doesn't home. he stop so them? Oh, my gosh, because he here's what you just did. Here's what listening. you just did. Here's what you just did. Exactly. I said, exactly. I asked you, why doesn't God stop them? And you said, because he, he wants to give them a chance to stop. No. So why doesn't your God stop them immediately? Because to you, he's not stopping them immediately. But for him, he does not live in time. He, he, he is, his, his, where he's at is timeless. So to him, he <laughs> knows they're going to get there just. He already knows he's going to get them. So the what thing are is, you what yapping you about, sir? What? You're not listening. The thing is, what he's doing. Answer the question. Why does him. your God not stop all children from being harmed in church? Now you're saying because God is spaceless and timeless. What no, are you even I, talking about? Not, you see, you're not listening. I said he does not live in the same time frame that we do. That what does so, that ha what does that have to do with the question? Bro, you gotta I didn't ask finish. you where God lives. All right, I didn't that's ask not, you. That's not I didn't ask you where God vacations listening. at. I didn't ask you where God vacations. You're I didn't ask you where he lives at. Big dog. I'm asking you, why listening. doesn't your God stop children from and being I'm harmed in church? The question. You just no, don't you're like not. Okay, don't so tell me where God lives. All right, don't tell me where God lives. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm Answer the question. Is, why does your God not stop kids from being uh, harmed in church? Answer I've the answered question. the question like four times. No, the you reason, haven't. The reason why is because just what because, is the reason? Oh my gosh! Don't tell just, me the oh don't tell God. me the reason why 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 does your God not stop kids from being harmed in church? So far, all Can you've answer? done is say the reason why, oh and then you haven't answered the question. Then you told me where God lives. I don't care where talking. God lives. You can't, you keep, I never even said that. You just keep talking. I asked so, you, why does it your God stop kids from being touched? And you said, because God lives in space. That's not what I said. Like, bro, what are you talking about? That is about exactly right what you said. You're not even listening, bro. Guys, everyone go subscribe to my That's YouTube. That's not even what I my said. My YouTube, That's not even subscribe what I said. to my YouTube in the bio. The entire live streams will be posted on my YouTube. Like, chat, are y'all, are y'all hearing this? Like, this dude not listening at all. That's not what I said. I didn't say that at all. Like you, I don't right. know what you're listening to. Okay, that's not let's I'm start saying. over. Let's start over. I'm Please. sorry. I'll, I'll calm down. Can we have can we have an actual conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna yeah. calm down. Please. It just gets frustrating when people don't answer the question. Not, no, and, and people it's are not you. No, it's it's no, everybody. I can't. Answer Nobody for other has people. answered this question. No, I can't answer for other people, man. But the thing is, you're taking everything I'm saying and you're flipping it, and then you're putting words in my mouth and saying things I didn't even say. People in the chat are even telling you that's not even what I said. So I don't care what the chat says. This is, you this did is say that. You did. I did. You did say the reason why you God said, doesn't stop. Said he, he lives in space. I said that's not what I was saying. That's you not said God is spaceless and timeless. That's not. I said he lives in a different realm than we do. Yeah, we and I didn't ask you where God lives, did I? So, did I ask you where God lives? Said, oh my God! Did I ask the you where God why lives, I sir? Mention that is because the reason why I mention that is because just because in our time they're not getting their due does not mean later on they're not going to get it. See, you you want God. This is how you want God to operate. You want God to see, oh, he's touching that kid. Zap, got him. Oh, you want to touch that? No, no, Zap, no, no. I think I That's think in all how it works. I think in all loving, funny. I think an all loving, all powerful God would not even allow the act to take place in the first place. But the thing is, you got to understand how did how did we get here? How did all that take place? Because you got to understand this. What? God is not only just all. Now powerful, you want to talk about where life comes from? No, that look, stop twisting my words, bro. Sir, answer the question. 
I'm answering the question. You're just not listening. You just want to take little words okay. I say and you run with why? So I'm, why I'm, does your God? Is, why does your God allow all? Why does your, why does your God not stop all children from being harmed in church? Please answer the question. I have answered this question like five times. I, I swear, okay. a five year old can get what I'm saying. Okay, answer what it again. you want? What you want to? What you want? The reason why? No, no, don't answer. tell me what I want. Answer this, the question. This, no, this answer is the question. You want. Why does your I, God? Why does your so God not stop is, all? kids for being harmed in church can i answer without you being without you interrupting yeah but just answer it don't tell me what i want just answer it okay no i'm not gonna tell you what you want i'm gonna tell you the truth the reason okay. why he does not stop it listen is because he is allowing them at this point of time to repent he's giving everyone a chance sir because sir. god is a just i god. know i know your god is allowing it i know your god is allowing it god Hold on, hold on. To be a righteous God is to be fair. To be righteous God. Oh, it's fair to, to the kids. Fairly. So it's fair. So it's fair. Hey, no, hey, it's hey, not, hey, listen, listen, listen. listen. Oh, it's, no, fair. it's fair. Oh, it's fair, guys, right? Listen, kids, kids, I know you don't want to be touched, kids, but to be fair, okay, I'm a fair God. I have to let these guys do it, right? Children, listen, I know you don't want to be touched in church. I know this, right? But I have to be fair. I'm a fair God. I got to let these priests do what they want to do it's called free will okay i can't stop it i can't stop you from being touched little jimmy i'm sorry i gotta be fair i gotta be fair to the priests and let them have their choice to touch you i apologize but i'm a fair god i'm a just god right and also i live in space and time because that's somehow relevant to the conversation right Hello, Timothy. Hey, yeah. Um, so uh, the pain and suffering that those kids are going to go through is nothing from what they're going to experience when they're in eternity with heaven. So it really doesn't matter what they go through now. Um, you know, they're going to be fine. Do we have free will in heaven? We always have free will. God gave up his power to give us free will do so we have god, free will in heaven god is not all powerful anymore do we have free will in heaven yes so these priests could choose to touch the kids in heaven too absolutely <laughs> why is that funny to you so these priests will have the choice to touch kids in heaven I just said yes. Why are you asking me the same question? So God, God is going to let priests into heaven. Not let them. God limited his power, humbled himself from being the all-powerful, <laughs> and gave you free will, me free will, and everyone free will. So there's no all-powerful anymore. Everyone has free will. So kids have kids can be kids might be touched in heaven. Absolutely. Are you trolling? Are you trolling, sir? I don't even know what trolling is. You're being you're being serious. You're being dead serious. I'm being dead serious. Do you can you raise your arm right now? You have free will to lift it up and down, don't you? God yeah. limited his power so you can do that. God limited his almighty power so you can do that. So in heaven, God limits his powers to let kids be touched in heaven? God limited his power right now for right now. I don't know what he's going to do in the future, but right now we have free will. So when a, when a priest is diddling a kid in heaven, is God going to stop him or is he going to limit his power and let it happen? We're in the kingdom of heaven right now. This is the kingdom of heaven, bro. You're you're an insane person. That, that, that wasn't a, that was a literal insane person. Somebody call the mental hospital and make sure there's no patients that escaped. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in agreement with you on that one. Um, I don't know where he was coming from. <laughs> that was just a crazy person. Yeah, I, I'm, no I, don't know what... I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know where he was going with it. I mean... But but uh, let's... let's, let's uh, I, I've been on your live before, 
and um, I haven't been. It's probably been a couple of weeks, maybe a month. Okay. I don't know. But uh, so let's let's look at it without God in the picture. What? Let's, so let's imagine a world where there is no God. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Let's go into your world. Okay. I mean, you should be at home here. Okay. Why does it? Why does this stuff happen? Because people are bad. So why are people bad? Because people are bad. I, I mean, I don't know. I guess things that happen to them and they're when they're kids. So they didn't have a good upbringing. Maybe it's just uh, people do bad things. You know, I don't but, know. But I mean, you got you got people that go through stuff and and yeah. they live their life saying, "I'm never going to do that" because they right. know what it was. So to say yeah. that I don't know why people do their that. upbringing. I can't possibly fathom why a person would want to do that. I don't. I don't know why. And, and I'm with you, you know, I, I don't, I mean, my mind can't comprehend or make sense out of why anybody would do any of that, you know. I also, I also can't comprehend having the world view that there is this all powerful, all loving God that's watching it and doesn't stop it. And, and, and that's a God that I love. That's a God that I worship. That, oh, I, yeah, that yeah. also yeah. I can't comprehend. Well, and, and I can't, I can't either because I mean, I love him. And I worship him and I serve him and my life is because of him. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here right now. I would have, I would have been in the grave May 1st, 1997. And I may have shared that story with you. I won't go into that right now, but, but I just, I just don't understand how you can say if there's a God, why does he allow this? Because because, you know, God, because your God is all powerful, right? But but when God created uh, light, he created darkness came, right? Okay, so what you're saying is the reason God allows it is because it's it, it, what it keeps balance. No, I mean there, there's the there's it's like the yin yang, you know. There's there's always an opposite right, so to everything that's created. Are, you, you, are you saying are you saying that the reason God doesn't stop it is because he, he, we need balance? No. But what what are you saying? I'm saying if there wasn't darkness, what would you we need have? balance? So we gotta have balance. No, 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 no. You let me talk. If there wasn't darkness, what would you have? to base your worth upon. Okay. What, what okay. would you be refuting if there so was something have, to refute against? Evil things have to happen for us to know what good is. No. What are you saying, sir? I'm, I'm trying to think of the way to put it that, that will make the most sense. And what I'm saying is there before, isn't anything. Uh, there isn't before, anything you can say, sir. There isn't. Any, there's anybody, nothing you can say. I'm trying to talk, and you want to talk over me, okay? There, there's no, nothing anybody, you can say. There's nothing you can say that will justify this or justify oh, God good. allowing this to happen. Yeah, look, you're going to end up kicking me before I say what I'm saying, and when I get into saying what I'm saying and I start making sense, you're going to kick me. Because you're anyway. trying. You're mumbling. You're trying to justify this. I'm you're not trying mumbling. to find I'm excuse. To tell you something, and you keep talking over me. You're trying to find an excuse to ju to apologize or some kind of some lame apologetic. No. To justify God allowing this. No. First, you God said there was a. We that. had to have people a yin allow yang. That. People said, allow that. People allow that. Yeah, but your God gave them free will, right? No. People allow that. Their evil God, nature that we were talking about when I first came in. Would it be wrong people, for God to stop it? I'm sure he has on several occasions. I, I wasn't there on any of them. The 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 ones that they got away with well, it, or the ones let's, that. Let's talk about them. this. Let's talk about this instance right here, right? I wasn't Hor there. Horrifying stories. I know. I know. But horrifying stories of sexual abuse that span decades would have been. Yeah. Would it? Would it? Have, would it have been wrong for God to stop this right here from happening? This exact scenario. Did he not stop it? Is that why people are? No, they, no, he didn't uh, stop are, it. He didn't but, stop but, it. It, ha no, it happened. No. No, but is it not being stopped because people are now? No, aware it, of it? it happened, sir. It, it, he didn't stop it. It happened. It's in the news. Th okay, this exact. I'm talking about to happen because they have. No, free no, no, no. I'm talking about want, this exact. Or story. are people aware of it because God has made them aware of it? And now people are more, more cautious about what they're doing because they understand that there's consequences for their actions. 
Sir, I, I'm talking about this specific story right here. This actual event that happened already. He didn't stop it. I'm asking you, would it have been wrong for God to stop this? No, it would not have been wrong for God. So to then stop. why didn't he stop it? I don't know why I, you, you're looking for me to defend God and I'm not here to defend God. What I came here to do is ask you about your beliefs because well, you think this you isn't, this isn't Dr. Phil, no, this isn't, no, no, this isn't a Q and a, this isn't a, 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 this isn't Johnny Carson, you know, like, He did, if you didn't come here to defend your God or defend your beliefs, then get out of the box. Hey, Smitty. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Um, good. So I, I'm going to do my best to try to put this in a, in a context that you can understand it. Okay. Um, I apologize um, if people have aggravated you or upset you. No, I'm not here to do that. No, I'm just frustrated. That's all. I can see that. And um, I, I want to answer your question. Okay. But in order to answer your question, we kind of got to do like a little wraparound to get to the answer to that question. So, All right. So what's the question? So so I, I'm just going to throw some scenarios at you so we can, in essence, go. Well, forward. hold on. What's the question you're answering? The question that you have here. Why does God allow this? Okay. I'm going right. to get to that. But okay. we kind of got to go. We, we kind of got to go a little bit around to kind of get to. Well, I've got 16, 16 people waiting, so... And, and, I'm, and I'm going to do my best to do this as quickly as possible. All right. And I don't want, I don't want to frustrate you. Uh, but as I was saying, um, just a question for you. Have you ever been in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend? Are you married? Do you have kids? Just, just I'm, curious. I'm not, I'm not married. I don't have kids, no. Okay. Have you ever been in a relationship? Have you ever been with someone? Okay. Sure. So in, in that relationship, right, if, if let, let's say... Um, this girl came to you and said, you're going to be my boyfriend. Um, I like you. You're going to be my boyfriend. And you had absolutely no choice in the matter. Would you call that love? Would you, would you, would you call that? Would you call that I would fear? call that, I would call that stalking. Okay, perfect. Okay. So that's not fair. I would, and, and no one would say that's love, you know? So Ma'am, why does God why does God allow children to be harmed in church? I, I'm, I'm going to get there, so you, you just got to allow me a few seconds to get there. I'm going to get there. I promise you, I'm going to get there. So I don't want to I don't want to answer any more questions. Why does okay. God allow no, God, children to be harmed in church? Anything. So we're going to go back to the beginning. Adam and Eve. God created Adam and Eve perfect, blameless. No. Then how did they sin? Anything. Then how did they sin? How did they fail? So, if they were perfect, how did they fall away from grace? So so again, when God created Adam and Eve, right? Because how did they fail if they were perfect? Let, 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 let me explain. Okay. So God created these two beings, right? And in order for you and I to say the God that created them is a just and loving God, he had to create them with a choice to either serve him, even though they created him. And, and God said, how did they make the wrong choice? If they were perfect, you have full reign of this, of this entire garden. Everything here is yours. Just don't touch that one tree. Right, ma'am. How did they make the wrong choice? If they were perfect again, I, I'm, I'm getting to that. You have to allow me to get to that, sir. Give me a few seconds. So again, he created these two <sighs> beings, but again, in order for you and I to call our God, a just, a fair and loving God, you had to give these two individuals a choice. These two individuals had the choice. Did Eve make the wrong choice to obey God's order or to disobey God's order? Did, he, did Eve make the wrong choice? They disobeyed. Yes, we all. So know Eve, so Eve, Eve made the wrong choice, but she yes. was perfect. Uh -uh. He he made them perfect, sinless, and blameless. Correct. How how does how does a perfect being make a wrong decision? So this is based, this is and, and this is the thing, ma'am. Come on, I'm, I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer the question. You have to allow me to, sir. You have to allow me to. How God does a perfect being them, make a wrong decision? This loving, just God told them, "If you eat from that tree, you." Will I know, want I know, to but how does a perfect tree, being make a wrong decision? Because they disobeyed His orders. How does a perfect being make a wrong decision? Because they disobeyed God's orders. Yes, so the, 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 the ma'am, the, dis the disobedience, ma'am, the disobedience was the wrong decision. I know that. How does a perfect being make a wrong decision? They had a choice. 
ma'am. They, they had a choice to. How does a perfect this being make the wrong choice? You have a choice to listen to your mother or father, or you don't. I'm not perfect. Adam and Eve had a I'm, choice I'm to listen to God or not, and they chose not but, to. But they were perfect. How does a perfect being make the wrong choice? Again, they, they, they had no sin in them when they were created. The moment they sinned you against God, were You said they were perfect, then they weren't perfect then. If Eve made a they wrong weren't. decision... They if were. Eve made a if Eve made a wrong decision or a wrong choice, then mm -hmm. she wasn't perfect. Thank you for the crown, Casey. Thank you. So, do you want to do you want to clarify? They, Maybe do you want to go back and say they weren't perfect, or do you want to continue holding they were the position? Perfect. They they had they, okay. they had now no. How did being? how did Eve make a wrong choice, a wrong decision, if she was perfect? A perfect being does not make mistakes. She had a choice. She made that choice. I know. I know. After I know being that. Warned, after being warned by this fair tra God, just track the logic here. God. Okay. Track the, track let, the logic. Let, 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 let's move on. Track let's the move logic. On. So, so we can get to how does a perfect being let's, make let's, a let's mistake? Let's move on to the next step. So what no, happened no, was no, 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 no. We're not going to move on. I want not? you to explain to me. You want me to get to the question, right? There's 17 people waiting. You want me to get to your question. I want you to explain. Well, there's 19 people waiting now, but I want you to explain to me how a perfect being made a mistake. Okay. Decision. Just like you make a mistake, sir. You make yeah, it. But, I'm, but I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. How does a perfect being make a wrong decision? How does a perfect being make a, a mistake? A decision is made. A yeah, I know that. I know. You have, how, to, you have to understand. How does a perfect being? If God make... created Adam and Eve without a choice, God Listen, then you can, created you robots. You can go back and say they weren't perfect. God if you created. Want to. So, so you want you wanted God to create robots then? No, no, no. no I'm asking saying. you. Explain you, to me. You, you want you and I and everyone else to be robots, and whatever God says goes. Boom. That's what you I want, just want right? you. I just want you to explain to me how a perfect. I'm being... attempting to, sir. I'm attempting to. Okay. Explain so it. God did not create robots. God created two loving beings. He's a loving God, fair, just God. He created these two beings and said, "I love you. I'm giving all of this to you. But the only instruction I give you is to not touch that tree." And they ate from it. And they and and right, they, right. So how they, does a perfect once being they did that? Once How they does a did perfect that, being make a mistake? Once they did that, they basically, they, 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 as, the, as the Lord told them beforehand, he forewarned, this is what the Lord is there for. How does a perfect being make a mistake? They had a choice and they made, they made the How wrong choice. How does one. a perfect being make the wrong choice? They made the wrong choice because they had a Yeah, decision. then they weren't perfect. Free will, sir. Free will. Then they but, weren't okay, perfect. Okay, so, so let's move on from that. So, Melly, Melly, okay, explain, to me, how a wrong, ex explain to me how we a perfect being. We now have people Melly, who are living Melly, in a fallen world, Melly, right? And then we've come. Melly, explain to me how a perfect being made the wrong choice. I'm not going to let this go unless you go back, unless you want to go back and say they weren't perfect. If you want to concede that Adam and Eve weren't perfect, then I'll move on. But I'm not going to move on until you explain to me how a perfect being made a mistake. Unmute yourself and explain to me how a perfect being made the wrong decision. They were perfect beings with free will. How does a perfect being fail? They were perfect beings with free will. How does a perfect being make the wrong decision? They had free will. So you're not that's gonna answer the answer. question. That's you're not my answer. answer the question. That's my so answer. So that, that doesn't if, answer if the question. If you'd like me to continue, to, then get to the answer. Would to you like question, to go yeah. back and say? I'll, I'll, would you like to go back and say Adam and Eve were not perfect? No. So I you're don't. gonna hold the position that Adam and Eve were perfect, but they somehow they failed. had never they had never sinned. So they okay, so how does a perfect, perfect being beings with free will? How does they a perfect have the being option to remain sinless? How does a perfect being have a flaw? God. How does a perfect being have a flaw? They don't have a flaw. It's called free they will. Committed, they, they made a it's mistake. It's called free will, sir. They made a mistake. You, you, you call it a flaw, and it's called free will. Let me ask we, you this. We can, argue, we can argue back and forth, but again, Let me in, ask order you this. Does God, a, um, in order does for something God that's to perfect two people, and in order for these two people to serve Melly, this, does something this that's perfect make a mistake? Fairly. They had to be created with, with right. the opposite. Does, does something that's perfect make a mistake, Melly? Does something that's perfect make a mistake? She's probably still talking. <laughs> this is the problem. You guys need to think about what you say, right? When you when you when you say that, oh, Adam and Eve were perfect. See, well, then how did they sin? And and, and and this is the frustrating part with folks such as yourself. We want we want to we want to circle back to answer your question, but you're stuck on one point without well, allowing us. To you get shouldn't to have said they were perfect. You, you, it's possible you don't want your audience to listen to what I have to say, and that's you, okay. You shouldn't have said they that's were perfect. Totally if you're okay. not going to explain. If that's you're going to okay. make a claim, they I need to explain sinless. something. They were sinless. They were sinless how does how does a perfect being with free will? God how does made a perfect being make a wrong decision? Will. 
The moment they made the decision to disobey God, they then became sinners. How does a perfect being cursed? Make and a then mistake. We can, then, then we can go on to explain your question up here. So, but, but I have to continue to order in order to do that. But you don't want your audience to hear what I have to say. But that's okay, sir. I totally ma understand. Ma how does it's a perfect your being? How it's does your a free will being? to not allow me to speak. It's your free will to not allow me to speak, and that's okay. I'm not upset with you. But you're just you're you're just feeding my point. Your free will to not allow me to speak is totally fine. But that's your free will. But you're 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 conceding to my point. Your free will is not allowing me to speak and get to answering your question. I would like to. I, I really would. But if you if you're not going to allow me to do that, then I won't continue. I don't want to continue to disrespect you or continue to make you any more frustrated. I'd like to get to the answer to that question, but you'd have to pause yourself for a second and allow me to get there. But if if that's not what you want to do, if your free will doesn't want that allow doesn't want to allow me to do that, that's okay. That's a choice too. You can you can make that choice. This is your life. You're the host. Okay, so you done. What are we gonna do? Are you done speaking? Can I can I continue, or are, are we well, gonna just be? Well, you just. Point? I was waiting for you to stop talking so I could say something. Go ahead. Okay. How does a perfect being make a mistake? Okay, I've answered that question, sir. So now, if we can continue, that's what was the answer? Me. What was the answer? He made two sinless beings with free will. Yeah, and how does a perfect being make a mistake? They had free will and they made a decision to disobey God. That's the answer. Right, right. But how does a perfect being make the wrong choice? That is that. That is how. Just just like you make wrong choices, but they, but, you but, have free will to say being, yes or no. You have the you have the free will to kill or murder someone. You have I'm the not free perfect, will to though. do things to children, or but you I'm have the free will not to do. Just like those priests that, have. That's the free not will analogous because I'm not perfect. You see what I'm saying? That's so not analogous because I'm not perfect. So Adam and Eve are perfect. So how does a perfect being? They make were they wrong? were sinless beings with the same free will that you and I have today. They were sinless. Yeah, but yeah, but how does a perfect being make a wrong choice? They had They had no sin in them. If you don't like the word perfect, then sinless. I'm going to use the word sinless. How about we okay. change the word? How does since the perfect, sinless since perfect? Since perfect for you okay, is now, okay, not so, a word okay. That's like. always waiting for you to say they weren't perfect. It's always waiting for. Okay, so they, they were sinless. Now, 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 now I have no another question. How does them. a sinless being sin? Because they have free will, sir. No, but how does a sinless being sin? Because they had free will, and free will will give you the reign to sin or not. Is, is God sinless, sir? Is God uh, again, again, we we can continue to dance on this one point, or you you can you can just pause for a few for for about is, a minute. Is God sinless, ma'am? Is God sinless? Yes, He is. Can God sin? No, He cannot. Okay, so if Adam and Eve were sinless, how did they sin? Again, they had free will. Does God have free will? He, God is the Almighty, the All Powerful. God, God, God is everything. That's, that's great. That's great. Does God have free will? God can do whatever He chooses to do. Correct. Okay. Can God sin? No. Because He's sinless, right? God is love, so there is no sin. He is blameless. He is sinless and blameless. Right. And so God Adam and Eve, so. Adam and Eve are sinless, and yes. and but somehow they sinned. Yeah, he told them. He 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 right. forewarned them. He said, but, "Look at this." But God, is not yours. but God is this sinless, is not and he yours. can't sin. You eat from that tree, you will die. He told them. You eat yeah, from so that tree, you will die. Yeah. So how does a sinless being commit sin? This, this is what you call a just and fair God. He forewarned them and said, "You eat from that, you're gonna die." How does a sinless being commit sin? That's a fair God. That's a fair and loving God, right? He says, "You got one thousand trees to choose from. Don't touch that one. If you do, how, you're gonna how die." How does a sinless being? That's commit a fair a and loving God, right? Answer that question for me, right? That's a fair person. A fair person how, says, "How does a this, sinless this being commit a sin?" Yours. You touch that tree, you eat from that tree, you're gonna die. That's that's somebody who's fair. Ma'am, explain to me how a sinless being committed a sin. Answer me that question. That God is fair, right? No, it's not fair to put. It, it's it's not fair to tell someone you can have a thousand trees, but just don't touch that one. How, how is this fair? Die. That's how, fair. How, so, how That's how fair. Is it, he gave him a heads on. up. He how gave is this him a heads fair? Up, right? How is this fair? I know, I know what Adam and Eve are going to do. I know that because uh, I'm all knowing. I know that they're going to eat from the fruit. I know this already. And instead of placing this tree on another planet, I'm going to place this tree right in front of them and tell them, "Do not eat from this tree," even mm -hmm. though I know that they will. Right? Oh. And when they do that, how could you do this to me? I'm going to punish you for all eternity. No, man, that's not fair. Okay, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. <laughs> but but again, and what and what happened? Oh they, they, my god, these people can vote. Oh, that's your opinion. Guys, be careful what you say. If you're going to say Adam and Eve were perfect, well, then how did they fail? If Adam and Eve were sinless, then how did they sin? You have to be careful what you say.
If you're gonna make these, if you're gonna say that Adam and Eve. Hi. Hello. I'm Michelle, and uh, I'm saying that Adam and Eve uh, did sin to us because of the. Um, that's great. That's great. Listen, why does God allow did. this? No, sir. That's why Jesus came and broke that chain. Man, why does God chain. allow this? Jesus came and broke the chain. And All right, the we got curse. another preacher. Another Bible thumper. Am I here? Yes, you're here. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Why does God allow this? Um, I'm not trying to argue or anything. I just want to know what you think sin is. All right, this isn't a Q&A, okay? It doesn't say come up here and ask the host questions, guys. <laughs> We're going to go for about another 30 minutes or so, guys, and then we'll do a, um, a Bible quiz live. You guys want to do a Bible quiz live? So after this live is over, guys, I'm going to do a Bible quiz, and it's for anybody. Anybody could join. Um, not just Christians, anybody. Do you know your Bible? Pass the quiz. You have to answer all 20 questions to win $100. If you answer all 20 questions right, you will win the $100. I'll cash app you, Venmo you, PayPal, whatever you want. Um, after we get done with this live, we'll be doing that live. So stick around. Click the follow button if you guys want to watch that live or if you want to play that live. If you want to, anybody can join. It's not just Christians. Anybody. <clears throat> Let's see here. There we go. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Alright, I'm on, uh, I'm gonna do my best to answer this question for you. Nobody really can wrap their head completely around God, what it is. What, you know, the whole being of it. But Sir, it sounds like you're you driving. Understand the whole it is. Please, guys, don't come up here if you're driving. Please, and, um, uh, 18 plus, please. 18 plus, please, and no driving, please. Star Wars, Star Wars, you've been in the comments screaming. What, what do you want for, what do you got for us? Hello from the other side. I have absolutely got the answer. I am about to open everyone's eyes. All right, let's hear it. So first of all, looking at it, you know, here, I'll even put myself on camera here just to make sure that you understand. So looking at the prompt here, why does God allow this? USA Today, August 10th, 2017. Obviously, you know, if we look at it, we've got who? Think about it. Hello came out 2017. Hello from the other side. That's Adele. Who else? Adele equal <laughs> set fire to the rain. Set fire to the rain equals Greek fire. Oh, Hen that is Adele. Yeah. Henceforth, Greek fire equals that is the new way to a new earth. He did not say he would destroy the earth by flood, but a flood of fire is a whole new ball game. So now we have to allow for the fact that Adele is the new resurrected Christ. And we are living in the end times. This is the seventh year of the seven years of tribulation. As soon as Donald Trump is elected, that will be the day of Armageddon. We will have to be in Megiddo at the end of the year. We will celebrate Christmas. If that is why God is allowing us. Illuminati confirmed. Do 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 the Twilight Zone. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Star Wars. My mind is blown, sir. Sold. I mean, my mind is blown right now. Sold it all. Just when I thought I, I I don't even know who am I really. I ate it, left no crumbs. You ate and left no crumbs for God, sir. That's right. My mind is completely blown, guys. I'm, I'm, my whole, my entire reality is shattered. Just when I thought I had everything figured out. Clap it up for Star Wars, guys. Clap it up in the chat for Star Wars. Put him in office. Put him in office. <laughs> Hello. How you doing, sir? So God allows this because God does not exist. That is why. Mm, I agree. Um, <sighs> they can't.
thank you guys for watching. Keep spamming the likes, everybody. Click the follow button. Uh, click on my profile and subscribe to my YouTube. All of my live streams will be posted on the YouTube. So if you were on this live and you want to go back and watch how you got cooked, subscribe to the YouTube and you can watch the uh, live stream on there. I'm going to post all my lives on my YouTube. I'm just getting my YouTube started out. So it's not much. There's not much videos on there right now. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Can you, good. Huh? God allows that because he's given us all our own free agency. Okay. He's so going to interfere. Okay. So it would be wrong for God to stop these kids from being touched. I don't think it would be wrong. And I think he does intervene in certain cases. No, not here though. Like I'm talking about this specific event, like right here in the news where this happened. If it wouldn't be wrong for God to stop it, then why didn't he stop it? If it wouldn't be wrong, right? So why didn't he stop it? Well, he's all knowing. So I didn't, I didn't ask you about I'm God's sure it was knowledge. A good reason. I didn't ask you about what God knows. I'm just asking you why. If God, oh. if it wouldn't be wrong for God to stop this, why didn't he stop it? Horrifying. Stories will be spanned decades. Free agency. He's yeah, allowing he, everybody to either choose him or choose to be apart from him. Right, but you said it wouldn't be wrong for God to stop it. So why didn't he stop it? That's that's coming from a three-pound brain. My brain. So here's the whole, oh, that's God's my, mysterious. That's my opinion. That's my Oh, God works in that, mysterious no, no, ways, no, no. guys. That's my opinion. Don't you ever get tired of using that cop? Well, I, I, those those are your words. That's such. A I didn't out. say that. God is mysterious. I can't. Who am I? I didn't cop that. My little. No. My little. My little now those are those are all mysterious. your words. Those those are all your words. So what do you mean when you say that's something my puny brain can't comprehend? What do you mean? Well, let's. I mean, there's more to the culture. Well, what is it? Tell me what it is. Well, when I'm talking, I me mean, talk. Well, there's a bad delay, sir. There's a bad delay. There's a bad delay. I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to talk over you. There was just a bad delay. You're gonna have to come back to fix your uh, connection. Hello, Hello Nate. Yeah, you're on. All right. You hear me? Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Great. I kind of think I might have the answer to your question here. Okay. Okay. God, in the beginning with the Adam and Eve thing, he put the tree there intentionally so that they would eat from it eventually. If you're living forever and there's one thing you can't touch, eventually you're going to touch it. Correct? <laughs> okay. Right? So he wants us to know what sin is and choose not to be against it. So, so he wants these kids to be touched. He wants these kids to know what it's like to be touched. He wants everybody else to see it so they know. He wants, your God wants these kids to be touched, is what you're saying. No, he wants everybody else to know that he, that's the sin. He wants us to know about children being harmed in his house of worship. It's not in his house of worship. Yeah, these are, these are, these are happening in churches. Well, I mean, you're saying God wants us to know about kids being harmed in his house. He of wants us to know about the sin. That's what he wants us to know. How is he going to sit there? With us? Okay, okay. God, all how, right. How is he going to sit there with us in heaven if we never <laughs> knew sin? If we had never known sin, right? He he would be talking to us like it'd be like talking to a small child all the time. If we know sin, then he and choose to not walk in sin, then he's going to go and say, "Well, you know, this person is more on my level, more in my image." <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what you're saying, sir. Uh, okay. Well, that's all I had to say on it. Okay. Yeah, thanks. All right. Very interesting take there. Very interesting. God wants us to know about children being harmed in his church. Guys, keep your kids at a church, please. Don't take your kids to church and please don't leave your kids at, alone at church. Stay with them. If you're going to go to church. You hear me? Yeah. What's up?
Uh, um, not much, man. Uh, I've been listening for a while, and a lot of people have wrong ideas that have been talking about it. Like, I, I'm not the most educated on it myself. I've just recently joined, you know what I mean? So I've been just reading uh, recent. Uh, uh -huh. But I, what I can tell you from what I've seen so far, what I've heard, is that God gives you free will as an opportunity to find him through the corruption of the world. So the world's corrupt as shit, and the devil has infested it, as we obviously see. And God does not approve. He does not have any sort of... I'm sure he has bad feelings towards it, obviously. But he doesn't approve of it. He approves of you being able to choose for yourself what what you are going to do with your own actions and he's heartbroken when you do things that go against him like this like like this oh story. i'm so hard i'm so i'm going to give you the choice to choose to do this but i'm going to be heartbroken if you do it right yes i'm not yes. going to stop he's, you. he's he's giving I'm, he's, I'll be, he's giving I'm not going to be heartbroken to enough find him. So i'm not going to be heartbroken i'm not going to be heartbroken to enough him. to stop how it how are you going to have free will how are you going to be able what you're, to choose sir, what, what you're going to do if you're limited if you're saying your God is not going to be heartbroken choose. enough to stop it, sir? He your God's going to be, your God's gonna be so heartbroken, but he won't stop it. He doesn't stop it for different reasons. It's not because he isn't heartbroken. It's not because he doesn't feel for those people. It's then because you have, to be able to, you have to be able to choose in your life your own decisions without him harboring over you and, and, and picking so what it's you do better like for a puppet, God to no matter what. God thinks it's better for him to allow you to do it than it is for him to stop it. He thinks it's better for him, for you to find him and love him than right. being so God forced thinks it's to better. make decisions because it's what he sees. God thinks it's better for these priests to have the choice to do what they do to these kids than it is because for him to stop priests, it. Because these priests, these priests claimed... Oh. All right, fine. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. You're saying, are, are you saying that God thinks it's better to allow these priests the choice to do what they do to these kids as opposed to him to stop it. It's better for him to allow it than it is for him to stop it. Is that what you're saying? The priests, the priests were given an opportunity to preach the word of God. Are you saying they, they, ble they, they blemished the word of God by touching these children? And they are you saying that God thinks it's better dead. for them to allow? Are you are you saying that God thinks it's better for them to have the choice to no, do it than it is? It's for not. Him it's to not. Stop a, it. It's not a matter of being better or being worse. It's a matter of having free will. And it would be better if God stopped it. Find his light. It would be better if God. Would it be better if God stopped? Nice. It would be very nice if he stopped it. Obviously. Would it, would it be better it's if God not, stopped it's it? It's different. It's not what. Would it be better if God stopped it? Well. It's not up to it being better. It's up to what would it would, would it be better if I stopped him. kids from being harmed as opposed to letting them be harmed. So you're looking at it in a completely different. How is this angle hard to how answer? Should be looking. How at is this a hard? I'm not, I have been answering it. I have been would answering it. it. Would it be like better for God to stop it? Spoken to you, but if you let me speak Nick, on the topic, then Nick, would it be better for God to stop kids from being harmed in church, or would it be better to allow them to be harmed? That's in not the matter. How can you not answer this? This situation. I'm trying to answer it. If you this let is an me easy. Answer, this is an easy. Keep it's better. Everybody that comes on your shit, let me talk. Nick, let me would talk. it be better? You have. Uh, it's not a matter of better. You're not listening to me. It's not a matter of being better or being So you worse. can't answer it's if it's better for kids. It's a matter of being able to pick what you choose in your life. You, you can't answer the simple him. question. To, bro, is it better bro, for kids to be harmed actually, or not? It, I can't, you it, can't debate with somebody like you, bro. You are so intellectually dishonest, bro. It is, is it better for kids insane. to be touched or not? Is it better for kids to be touched or not touched? You need free will to guide yourself to God. Dude, dude, that this is, is a how red you flag. get to God. That this is, is a red flag, Nick. God. This is a red flag. You Nick. have to you have to choose the right ways in in your life that God has wanted you to pick. And if you don't pick, this is a red flag, bro. Disgusting. If you do something disgusting like that, then that is what you will be you will be judged for that when you die. Nick, is it better? Is it better? Of, is it better bro, for kids to not be surface. touched? Is it better for kids to not be touched or to be touched? It's not. I, if I have to say that one more time, bro, it's not a matter of being better. Dude, it's red a matter flag, of bro. Red having flag. To find, you keep red saying flag. Yeah, red flag, bro. Red flag, bro. Like, how do you not immediately say it's better, right? How do you not immediately say it's better for kids to not be touched than for them to be touched? I asked you ten times, Nick. Is it better for kids to be touched or not? Or is it better for kids to not be touched or touched? Is it better for kids to not be touched or touched? And you refuse to answer the question. Like that's a red flag. Um, okay, guys, everyone, stick around. I'm gonna do a Bible quiz live. All right, Bible quiz live. 
uh, just give me like 10 minutes. So I'm going to end the live and I'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, guys. So if you guys want to play the Bible quiz, anybody can join. It's not just for Christians. Anybody can join. Okay. So click the follow button, guys. Subscribe to my YouTube in the bio if you want to watch all the entire live streams. I'm going to be posting all my live streams on my YouTube now. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to play, it's, you have to answer all 20 questions to win. Okay. I've got 50 questions here and I'm going to give you 20 of them. And uh, if you answer all 20 questions correctly, I will Venmo you, PayPal, Cash App, $100, whatever you want. All right, so if you guys want to uh, come back later and watch the live stream, please click the follow button so, you can be, so that you'll see when I'm live. And uh, I'll be back in 15 minutes, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the gifts, everybody. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the shares. Um, and please, guys, subscribe to my YouTube, please. I'm trying to build my YouTube up. I'm going to be posting all my live streams on there. Thank you, Benny. Thank you so much for the gifts, Benny. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content of today's live stream. And I'll be back in 15 minutes with the uh, the Bible quiz. All right, guys. The, the, the record is eight, uh, nine. The record is nine. Nobody's won yet. I just started doing it yesterday. And um, the record is nine. A lot of people failed at four. A lot of people couldn't get past four. But we had one person get to nine. And Justin, if you know who Justin is, he he destroyed it. But uh, actually, Justin revised the, the quiz. He actually pointed out a couple of wrong things in the quiz. But that's just how Justin rolls. But anyways, all right, guys, I'll be back in about 15 minutes. How many questions are there? There's 20 questions. Answer all 20 questions to win the $100. Who is Justin? Deconstruction Zone Justin. Go follow him. Go follow Deconstruction Zone Justin. He, I asked him all 50 questions and he only missed four. He only missed four, so. No, you rock, Steampunk. You rock. Do you do this with Theistic? No, I, no, I don't do this with Theistic. Theistic has like more of like an aggressive like interrogation room or like he won't let, he only lets Christians join and he only lets Christians join that know what 2 Timothy 3.16 is. Not everybody, like he only lets Justin, or I mean he only lets like, um, like a, a few people join because he likes to just, he's more aggressive with